When Jennifer Hediamen came to us from Lagos, Nigeria, Nigeria to study the Master of Arts in Business and Economics program, what arrived really was a very seasoned and practicing journalist, but she was also a leader in her field. As you heard, uh, she graduated from the Nigerian Institute of Journalism and then proceeded to found the uh, Rural Reporters website, which she will continue to develop when she returns to Nigeria. She's written in a lot of other places as well, but she's done a lot of training of journalists and she hopes to continue to do that when she returns. She's taken her commitment to excellence uh, much further in her work at Columbia. and She can talk to you more about some of that. She's really a poet. She's a book author. She's an academic researcher. She's a teacher. She's a blogger. She's a publisher. And that's just in the early years of this young woman's profession. From Columbia, going forward, her intent is to continue developing media in Nigeria to improve, to have more impact and reach more people. In her op-ed piece she submitted, she assessed the coverage of America's presidential race that is available to Nigerians in this way. Until now, I must admit that the coverage of the US elections in Nigeria has been underwhelming. Reports about international politics and manifestos that presidential candidates based their campaigns on are left for columnists to analyze. There's no in-depth coverage about trends, events, or reactions in the mainstream news. And she continued, most of the news coverage about Trump does not focus on his manifestos or views on international policies and how it affects Nigeria or the African region. Instead, for the most part, the reports analyze his campaign speeches and reactions to his supporters on the campaign trail. Unfortunately, some of those reports are often turned into skits and memes. Readers do not fact check them, or, and they consume it all hook, line, and sinkers. I think the Nigerians are not alone in that. In applying to Columbia, she wrote of her ambitions, and from what we have seen from her strong showing this year, they were entirely realistic. She told us, people often say journalism is a noble profession, which is not financially empowering, although I have been tempted a few times to branch off into corporate communications and related jobs. I have, uh, I have always found myself coming back to embrace this profession. Journalism to me is more than a profession. It is a calling. 10 years from now, I envision myself as a fully established journalist managing one of the most innovative media companies in Nigeria. I believe that Jennifer has arrived. Jennifer. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited, and I, I really want to thank the Foreign Press Association for this um, opportunity and for this award. Thank you so much. Um, in 2014, I was a little bit exhausted. As Dean mentioned, I was, I was at the, in, the, in the middle of deciding what to, how to move on with my career. That was one of the things that led me to Columbia University's website to seek for a course that would um, help me sharpen my skills in, in um, the area of academic learning. People tell me that I'm very lucky because I'm because I studied business and economics in Columbia University. As they say, it's that area in journalism that has not yet been swallowed up by social media and new technology. As you all know, um, technology and social media is changing the way news is produced and consumed. From, in Nigeria, where I come from, power has been taken away or is being taken away from traditional media. A lot of ordinary citizens now report and, and disseminate news. Sometimes they just mostly copy and paste this news content from what the traditional media already has out there. With mobile phone um, penetration increasing in Nigeria, as well as internet access, more and more people have become very proactive in breaking news, even way before um, traditional media break this news. In one of the courses I took at Columbia University um, School of Journalism, it was the 21st century news management. We looked at how uh, um, the different dynamics in news management, uh, as well as how technology is re reshaping the um, news organizations in the US. Um, one of the assignments we were given, I focused on trying to tailor what we learned in the classroom to um, the situation in Nigeria. And I found out that while in the US, most news organizations are already talking about virtual realities and, and um, 
live streaming and using different like applications to amplify the news. In Nigeria, we're still just mostly focusing on launching websites and um, using Twitter and social media to disseminate news. Uh, I, I think this, I see this as a challenge because um, the future of journalism, as we were told yesterday during our commencement, is going fully into digital. So news media organizations who only limit themselves to just um, the traditional style will soon be extinct. I'm hoping as a, as a journalist and as a media trainer to go back to Nigeria, not only to report the business and economic news there, but also to focus on how um, I can contribute my quota in ensuring that the innovations and the different trends are being replicated in Nigeria as well as the African region. Again, I would like to really thank, thank you all for this opportunity. And I look, I look forward to contributing my quota to sustaining the profession so we don't all lose our jobs. Thank you. <laughs>